Hey guys, it's Karima and welcome to another video. I'm here to give you guys all the cleaning motivation you will need. Yes, my house is a hot mess, but I had to show you this. First of all, I wanted to say this video is for those requesting a slowed down version of a cleaning video. I get it, sometimes it's hard to see exactly what we're doing, but that is not always easy to do. You see how long this video is, so I can't do that all the time, but I want you to know that I heard you and this is for you. And I also wanted to say, this video is also for the girl that is asking me, sis, how do you keep it together? How do you do it? How do you stay on top of everything? I don't, sis, I promise you when I have a rough week at work when my kids need me my husband needs me this house falls apart and I don't give two cares about it we will survive as long as I live to clean another day it will get cleaned but it's a wreck my house is a whole wreck and you know why because I had a busy week and I spent that time with my family instead of cleaning this house. It's also why this video is out a little bit late. But when I need me time, I take it. Self-care is so important to me. And I don't slack on that. Because if I slack on my self-care, this whole ship sinks, sis. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So I don't, get, I don't do everything all the time. But I always do what's needed when it's needed. So as you can already see, laundry has not been done in this house for about a good three weeks. I'm going to be honest. I can tell because my kids have absolutely no clothes left. So I am collecting the laundry from all around the house. I'm starting with my room. Then I'm going to hit up my kids room. And I'm going to get started on this humongous pile of laundry. So as you can see, this bathroom was a whole hot mess. This becomes the collect all for my laundry. When I am getting dressed or undressed in that bathroom, I was dropping it right on the floor. Your girl was not doing anything. This laundry basket was so full, I was struggling to get the clothes over the banister without dropping the whole basket over. Girl, I was doing laundry for the whole day. As usual my son has the least amount of laundry or maybe it's because his clothes are the smallest that his hamper doesn't always seem full most of his stuff were just sheets from changing his bedding my daughter she had a decent amount of laundry y'all ignore that room I did not clean her room in this video this was not part of my video because I was not doing it I took a lot of your advice and there are a lot of changes you will see that in a future video but of course, it's a hot mess as usual. It's actually not as bad as it usually is. I'm over here searching for clothes because she hides clothes everywhere. So I got the search under the bed, under the dresser, everything. This is her little to-do list so that she knows what she needs to do on a daily. Throw those clothes over and y'all look at this pile. Look at that pile of laundry that I got to do. So here's the laundry sorter. Now let me tell you why I got this laundry sorter. My plan was to implement a laundry routine and it was to do laundry once a week. I would collect the laundry from everyone's basket in their rooms and put it in the individual sorter spot and clean it, do it once a week. Well, it didn't work out that way. I'm doing laundry from the sorters. I'm doing laundry from the baskets, from the floor, from everywhere. There's laundry everywhere. I promise y'all as soon as I get this routine down packed, I'm going to make a video about it. So I didn't mention this in the beginning of my video, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. Again, my name is Karima. This is like a cleaning marathon video or a long cleaning video, whatever you want to call it. But this was requested by my subscribers. I did put a poll out and asked if you wanted a two-part cleaning video or you wanted a long marathon style video and you guys all the majority voted for the marathon style so this is it as you can tell this video is quite long so this is the type of video that you play in the background while you're cleaning your whole house your whole house your room your garage the car whatever you got to clean let's do it together just put my video on in the background Listen to the music, listen to me talk my ish, and let's get this stuff done together. He's a vagabond, he won't love you better. I can watch 
shout out to my bestie Amber for filming for me. As you can tell, I got someone filming for me in the background. Of course, I'm on polo with Vantasia, what's new. But I wanted to do something different, you guys. I knew this video was going to be longer because I knew I was going to be slowing it down. And the angles. Y'all know I got to give y'all angles. So Amber was visiting me from New York. Hey, girl. Hey. And she was nice enough to film this video for you guys. So I have to give her her video, her videographer cred. That's Amber. She's not the biggest fan of being in front of the camera, but she was helping me fold this laundry. Y'all, this is not even part of the laundry that I needed to wash. This was clean laundry that's been sitting in the dryer for a good three, four day weeks. I don't know, for a long time. So thank you, Amber, for helping me fold. He was having a little girl chat. It was so nice to have a friend in town. If you guys are new to my channel, you may not know that I relocated from New York to Dallas Texas last year and it was just me my husband and my kids and no one else no family no friends so it gets really lonely at times but my friends in New York are awesome they come and visit me often often as they can so I really appreciate that so as y'all can see we still fold in laundry because y'all not blind but I really wanted to take this time and just say thank you so much for all my new subscribers. You guys are showing me so much love and it is just so greatly appreciated. I know I say it in every video, but until y'all get sick of hearing it, I'm going to keep saying it because I'm just, that's the person I am. I just appreciate these kind of things. And y'all don't have to watch my videos, but y'all do and y'all comment and y'all chat with me. I love it and I appreciate you so much. Looking real pretty like Kylie. We bring commotion. So we are getting through that pile of laundry, you guys, in this kitchen. I am just gonna clean the kitchen. I will show you little parts of it, but I feel like in the last two cleaning videos, really, they were really focused on the kitchen, so I'm not gonna kill y'all with this kitchen. But y'all know this kitchen always needs to be clean. So I started with the dishes. Sink is pretty empty now, because everything is in the dishwasher. And the dishwasher has been started. It's going. I am gonna have a cup of tea because I'm getting a little hungry and I wanted some tea and a snack. So I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna get this kitchen together. So I spared y'all the dishwashing, but you know I wasn't about to skip the cleaning of the sink. Don't, don't talk about me. I know it's weird, but I like a good clean sink. Like I like to watch a good sink cleaning. So I like to show a good sink cleaning. Something about just cleaning it, seeing it clean, smelling the cleanness of the sink. I don't know. I just can't. Y'all, I love a good sink cleaning. We're gonna bang the drum. Dropping the beat, all that we need. Turn it up now, right till the morning. I gotta give another shout out to my girl Amber. She was getting the sink angles and this is without prior training. Like she's not a professional YouTube video girl, but she was killing it on the angles for me. Like she really made this sink cleaning very satisfying for me to watch back. Thank you, girl. I just want to let you guys know that the Q&A video is still on its way out. I did not forget about it, but you guys know I work full time and I got the kids and everything going on. So it's just a little bit harder for me to get videos out the way I want to. I know you're not pressed for it because you guys are so supportive, but I just want you to know that when you make a video request, I put it down on my pad and I have all intentions on getting it out. I'm trying to get these videos out in a timely fashion, but it is not the easiest thing to do, but I will not give up. I'm going to get it out for you guys. Y'all ignore this part of me being goofy AF, um, but you know what it's like when you got a girlfriend in town that you haven't seen in a while, 
or gotten to hang out with and y'all just talking crap and having a good old time and you know she support my youtube life so we was just having a good time putting these dishes away So there's some real life moments going on right now in that last clip you probably heard my son screaming in the background I'm putting dishes away in the kitchen I'm currently sitting in my closet doing this voiceover and he's in the room watching word parties screaming at the top of his lungs but this is what us mothers do to get the job done So since we're just hanging out, I should probably share some details with you. I actually don't know where I got the black tray. I'm sure I got it from Walmart or Target or something like that. And I'm sure it was really cheap. Uh, the liner is from Dollar Tree. All of our silverware goes in there. The little spot at the top has my baby stuff. And the steak knives go in the little knife rack. So we can't forget about that massive load of laundry I got. So it's time to switch out some loads. I've actually, this is probably the second load that I'm switching out. But there are so many. I was literally doing laundry until the next morning. You will see at the end of this video, which is actually the absolute next day, I was still doing laundry. Oh, even if I try and try too hard. Tell me what to do, say anything. I am happy to say though, since decorating my laundry room, my laundry room has held up. It is still cute. This little tray on top of the dryer was really a good idea because on top of my dryer used to be such a hot mess in my old videos. But since everything is nice and neat and organized up there, I've been doing a good job keeping it that way. So decorating the laundry room really helps you keep your laundry room in order. Even if I try and try so hard, nothing's ever enough. Even if I try and try so hard, tell me what you do now. So, of course, the pool has to be filled back up because it's hot AF here in Texas and the water is evaporating. But look at the hose. Y'all, the hose is possessed. Very hard. The hose is standing up doing a dance like a snake the hose is jujuing on that beat juju on that beat no let me stop acting up y'all the time to fill up the pool y'all come over and swim with me and all right guys so we still at it and i'm still looking a hot mess what's new um but i'm in a kid's bathroom now and i just wanted to show you this 14 piece they're so dramatic 14 pieces well 12 of these pieces are the actual hooks but it's a 14 piece bath rug and shower set that I got from Aldi this is what the shower curtain looks like which is perfect because we already got one rug that's the color of this dot right here that mint green there we go so I'm gonna change out the kids shower curtain and clean their bathroom and now I have another rug which I'm gonna use for right at the sink because I wanted to get them a rug for their sink so now we have one and this set was seven bucks for the shower curtain and the rug and the hooks all together. So I thought that was a really good deal. I love all these, you already know. So the struggle with the shower curtain continues. I thought I was trying to be smart this time by taking the whole pole down so I could just slide the curtain off. But apparently my pole doesn't come down. Like it looks like one of those poles that you should be able to twist and take down. But I don't know if it's up there too long. Does it get like stuck to the wall? Maybe it's stuck on the paint because they did repaint this house when we bought it. But girl, I don't know. So I couldn't get the shower rod down. 
So I popped the loops off. But you guys, you, you know how I struggled putting the curtains up the last time. The hooks that came with the Aldi set was even worse. You're going to see. So I tried using the Aldi hooks. They sucked. They were harder to even deal with than the round hooks. And I ended up putting the round hooks back on. Just I'm just over shower curtains. Like they need a shower stall in this bathroom because I'm so done with shower curtains. It is time to clean my kids toilet you guys I am really trying to potty train my son and the struggle is real now he's peed in the potty a couple of times but he definitely prefers the pull-ups so it's been a real struggle so I'm using the methods toilet bowl cleaner and I really like it but I like to have a toilet bowl cleaner in each of my bathrooms and I have three bathrooms so it's not really cost effective for me to buy three of those toilet bowl cleaners because I want to say they're $3.99, they're four bucks. So once those are done, I am going to be switching to the Dollar Tree toilet bowl cleaner. guys i've been cleaning for a good like three hours now did y'all see me take that little woo saw moment girl when i think about the things it took from me i know that i am so much better better when i look at what i've done now that we are part when i look at what i've won i've come so far i know i'm so much better So I'm going to finish up this bathroom with vacuuming the floor and mopping the floor and putting down the kids new rug and I'm up out of here and on to the next task. Just a lesson that I've learned and so it goes, tables turn, 
tell how stressful my work week was by counting the pampers on the floor I know that sounds crazy but ladies when I'm having a really stressful work week I come home and I'm just got going through the motions my son needs to be changed I'm changing that diaper and I'm throwing it on the floor now if it's a poopy diaper of course I will trash that because nobody wants to smell that but I really can tell how stressful my week was by how many pampers were on the floor and this was a stressful week my bedroom was really trashed more than usual. It was starting to stress my husband out. He even was like, do you want me to help you clean it? Or like, are you filming this for your video? Or what's going on? Because he, he was getting stressed out by the mess. So don't let me go. Nah, 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 nah. I'm Shout out to my girl Jess. Love and miss you girl. But we're jamming together while I'm cleaning this room. She's always playing the best music in her videos. Y'all, I was getting for real worn out. Like, oh my gosh, who made me the maid of this household? Like, what is really going on? But I kept pushing. I, we getting things done, so I'm going to keep on pushing. So my princess came to help me clean my room, make my bed, because for one, I was really struggling getting these pillows and these pillowcases, and her mama could really use the help. Thank you, Chloe. guys I was really stressed out because I washed my comforter for the first time and the thread in it really started to buckle and I washed it on delicate this happens to all the comforters that I buy when I wash it in my washing machine I do not know what to do how do you guys clean your comforters without ruining them the thread started like shriveling up is it because it's cheap what is it sis Y'all saw I was about to throw those water bottles in that garbage bag and then I thought to myself, girl, you recycle. So you got to put those water bottles in the recycle bin. I always keep a snack by my bed as well. So y'all know this is always 50 million water bottles and probably a big bag of popcorn. So I'm cleaning up my little junk corner over here. I can't even, I can't even talk. This is my junk corner for real. If you guys are wondering, you always see that little box in the corner by my bed in every video. It's because I don't have night tables yet. We haven't found night tables that we like that are affordable. So we don't have any nightstands yet. But I, um, 
I keep my camera equipment in there or just like my editing stuff. I keep my computer, my plugs, my hard drive, my headphones, things that I use to edit when I'm editing in bed. I keep everything in that box so I can like hide it from my son and keep it organized in one spot. So that's what that box is about. All right, Jess, with the music and the video, I was really jamming out to Jess's whole video. Like she had me getting my life in this video. Her music is on point. So I know I had dirty laundry all over my room and clean clothes. So it kind of seemed like it was mixed together and it probably was, but I am not the one to rewash clothes that I already washed. I do a smell test. You can tell when you wore something or not. And then I put it away. Are you the type to rewash everything if you mix dirty clothes in clean clothes? Like it's not mixed together in a hamper, but it was just all over the room. And this is no shade to anyone. If you do, there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't. So I hope you don't judge me. But girl, I had enough clothes to wash. I was not about to rewash clean clothes. I know my husband seen that huge pile of laundry downstairs so why he takes his clothes off and puts it back where the dirty clothes go instead of just putting it with a pile of laundry is beyond me. So this little table here is actually my makeup vanity. I know it's hard to tell because my kids use it as a desk. When my son is in the room, he's usually writing or coloring on it. And when Chloe's in the room, she's usually doing her schoolwork on it. And my son will write straight on the desk. Like, I'm going to show you guys a close-up. This is all the pencil marks and crayon marks. He colored all over the desk and all over the chair. And he did it like real special for mommy. He colored underneath the chair. So you'll see me trying to clean the top of the chair and realize like, oh, it's underneath. How can I not love this kid? He keeps me so busy. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good Everyone has been telling me that you got me hood You're playing it big time, you're feeding me lies Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them, no reason Sometimes the truth is hard to see but now the never ever ever seem to be over I saw so everyone who was asking me about how I like the Dyson vacuum, so far so good. I think I got it back in December or January. I can't remember for sure, but I've been loving it actually. Vacuuming has been my least favorite chore or it used to be my least favorite chore because I hated lugging my heavy vacuum cleaner up the steps. We store the big vacuum cleaner downstairs because there's really just no place to put it upstairs. But putting, dragging it up and down the steps killed me. So I really would not vacuum that often upstairs. And we had a dog. Oh my gosh. Like you guys, I know this is like left. But if you haven't noticed that my dog hasn't been in the videos anymore, it's because he passed away. I had my dog for 11 years. Or actually, he would have been 11 years old in November of this year. Um, and that was devastating. I never even thought I would feel this way about a pet. But I felt like I lost a child. I, just losing him, I remember thinking like a mother should never have to bury her child. That's just how I felt. felt. So rest in peace to Max. And in 
I never really finished about the vacuum, but I do love it. It's easy, it's lightweight. I haven't had any issues with the battery or it, it holding its charge or anything like that. So I have no complaints about the vacuum. And here is the after of the bedroom. Oh my gosh, I just love when my bedroom is clean. It's too bad it doesn't stay like that for long and it ain't even like that right now but it always looks good and here's my pumpkin i wanted to show you guys him actually sleeping in his bed because that's a rare occasion so who is still with me this is a long video you guys i'm watching it with you like geez we're not done yet but we're almost there we're getting there few more things to clean I had to get the rest of the carpet in the hallway cleaned up get the stairs vacuum because I do that like once a month I'm gonna be real with y'all um, I still don't love vacuuming steps I don't care what kind of vacuum I got but we just have a few more things to do then I'm gonna finish up the kitchen and we get to sit down and relax so finish strong guys if you're still working on your house if you're still cleaning let's finish strong Okay guys, we're getting to the end and I just had to speed this clip up a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot because I'm just cleaning off the table and y'all wasn't gonna watch me clean off this table for five minutes straight. So I had to speed this clip up a little bit. Y'all know my table be a hot mess. Mail is a daily struggle. Papers, still a struggle for me guys, but I'm working on it. I'm getting there, I'm getting my life together. I'm just using that mint scent Mrs. Myers. I'm just using that up, but it does give the table a nice shine. And even though it's not in this clip, I always go over my table with the, the old English oil just to keep the wood nice. So I'm finally about to be done with this kitchen. I'm just gonna clean off the stove top, the rest of the counters, and put whatever is up whatever is out up I know y'all see that piece of paper sticking out my butt so I'm gonna explain whenever I am sorting through papers and I find an important piece of paper that needs to go somewhere where I need to be able to find it I usually stick it in my pocket these sweatpants don't have any pockets so I had to stick it in my pants I, this is just something that I do guys I've been doing it like my whole life if I have an important piece of paper and I don't want to lose it while I'm cleaning I will stick it in my pants or stick it in my pocket. That is why I got a piece of paper sticking out my butt. So we made it y'all we are at the end of the video i know i said it was going to be an hour long but i just could not do it as you saw the clips before i had to speed up some things because it was just team too much now i almost didn't leave these clips in because i'm embarrassed but Vantasia convinced me to leave these bloopers in so i'm going to give you a little bit of bloopers at the end this is what I do on camera when I want to make sure I'm in focus and it don't even make sense because if I'm moving like that How is the camera supposed to focus this like make it make sense? It doesn't make sense, but in my brain That's that makes sense to me So I will sit on the camera and dance to see if I like my position on the camera And I sit on the camera and dance to see if I'm in focus So that is the end of the video 
I'm, it's actually the next day at this point when I cleaned the table off in the kitchen and finished up this laundry. It was the next morning, but I got right back at it. I finished all the laundry, that whole pile, every piece of clothing we owned, and it is done. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you stuck around to the end of this video, y'all got to give me all the hearts. And I, I got to give you something. I got a giveaway coming soon. I'm actually going to do a giveaway for 5,000 subscribers. So it's coming because I appreciate y'all. And y'all drop some things. Drop some ideas down there. Like if, if you was going to enter a giveaway, what kind of stuff y'all want? Now it's 5,000 subscribers. So I can't be giving away Mac computers and iPhones and $1,000 gift cards and all of that. Your, your girl ain't there yet. And I still got to feed my kids and I got to get them some new shoes for school. But just give me some general ideas of something you would love to receive in a giveaway. And if it's straight up money, just say, girl, I would love to get some money. Oh, gosh, my alarm. But thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for just supporting me and interacting with me. I really appreciate it. And I love you all. I will see you guys in the next video.